Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After selecting a SmartArt graphic, you can change it by using the commands on either the SmartArt Design and Format Contextual tabs or the Design and Format tabs under the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab that appears in the ribbon, depending on which version of Office you have installed. The buttons in the Create Graphic button group at the left end of the SmartArt Design Contextual tab in the ribbon let you add shapes and text to the selected SmartArt. If you select a shape in your SmartArt graphic, you can click the Add Shape drop-down button to add another shape to the graphic. The choices of shape position relative to the selected shape appear in the Buttons drop-down menu. Select where to add another shape from the choices available. To add a new bullet point to a bulleted list if your SmartArt supports bullet points, then click the Add Bullet button. To toggle the display of the text pane associated with the SmartArt graphic on or off, click the text pane button. To increase or decrease the importance of a selected bullet point or shape if the SmartArt graphic contains bullet points or hierarchies, then click the Promote or Demote buttons. If you want to change the horizontal organization of a selected shape, Click the right to left button to toggle the placement of the shapes between the right and left sides of the graphic. This inverts the order of shapes placed into the same hierarchical level in some types of graphics. To move a selected shape or bullet point forward or backward in its sequence of hierarchies of shapes or bullet points, click the move up and move down buttons. If available, to select a new branch layout for organizational charts found within the Hierarchy SmartArt category, click a shape that has a hanging branch sequence attached to it. Then click the Layout drop-down button. Then select the desired branch layout from the drop-down menu. To apply a layout to your selected SmartArt graphic, click a layout within the Layouts button group on the SmartArt Design contextual tab. To preview how it would appear in the document before clicking one to apply it, hold your mouse button over one of the choices available in this list. To apply a new color scheme to your selected SmartArt graphic, click the Change Colors drop-down button in the SmartArt Styles button group on the SmartArt Design Contextual tab in the ribbon. If using pictures within your SmartArt, you can select the Recolor Pictures in SmartArt Graphic command at the bottom of this drop-down menu to also recolor the associated images in the SmartArt with the selected color. This is a toggle command, so simply select the same command again to turn it off after recoloring images within the graphic. To apply a different style to your SmartArt, click any style in the SmartArt Styles button group. To preview how a style would appear in your document before actually clicking one to apply it, hold your mouse button over one of the styles in this list. To reset any color or style changes you made to your SmartArt, Click the Reset Graphic button in the Reset button group at the far right end of the SmartArt Design tab. The Reset Graphic button will not reset any layout changes you made since inserting your SmartArt. For example, if you originally used a picture organizational chart layout, and then changed it to a hierarchy list layout, and then changed the style and color of the hierarchy list, clicking the Reset Graphic button resets the color and style of the hierarchy list, but will not change it back to its original picture organizational chart layout. Also, the Reset Graphic button will not remove any text you have entered into your SmartArt. The Command buttons on the SmartArt's Format Contextual tab in the ribbon let you apply shape and word art styles to the individual shapes in your SmartArt graphic. You can use the buttons in the Shapes button group at the far left end of the Format Contextual tab to alter the appearance of the selected shapes in the SmartArt graphic. 
if you applied a 3D style to the SmartArt but wish to edit its contents in a 2D view. Click the Edit in 2D toggle button to switch the SmartArt to a 2D view for editing. Click the same button again after editing it to revert back to 3D. If you happen to have a shape within the SmartArt selected, you can click the Change Shape drop-down to select a different shape to use from the drop-down menu of shapes. Click the Larger and Smaller buttons to increase or decrease the size of a selected SmartArt shape. To apply a preset shape style to a selected SmartArt shape, click a choice in the Shape Styles button group. The drop-downs in this button group have been covered in the lessons titled Fill in Line Settings and Effects Settings in the Pictures and Media chapter and also covered in the lesson titled Formatting Shapes in this chapter. Please review these lessons if you need a refresher on using the buttons in this button group if necessary. You can apply the same shape formatting to SmartArt shapes as you would to regular shapes you insert into a document. Likewise, you can change the appearance of text within a shape by selecting a preset style to apply from the WordArt Styles button group. Any text in a SmartArt shape can be formatted just like any other text in your document. The other buttons in the Word Art Styles button group were previously covered in the lesson titled Formatting Shapes earlier in this chapter, and they work just the same here. To add an alternative text description of a selected shape within SmartArt to help user accessibility, click the Alt Text button in the Accessibility button group to open the Alt Text pane at the right side of the window. Then type a description of the shape's text into the large white text box. Note that you can do this for each selectable shape within the larger SmartArt graphic. If the shape is purely decorative, you can skip the description and instead check the Mark as Decorative checkbox to not distract the reader. Note that you can also click the outer border of the SmartArt graphic itself to enter a separate description for the entire SmartArt graphic too. To close the alt text pane, simply click the X button in its upper right corner. The Arrange and Size button groups at the right end of the SmartArt's Format Contextual tab in the ribbon contain commands you can use to change the arrangement and size of selected shapes in your SmartArt graphic. The Arrange button group has the same buttons as the Arrange button group on the Picture Format Contextual tab does. If you need a refresher on using these buttons, please review the previous lesson titled Using Picture Tools in the Pictures and Media chapter. The Size button group contains a height and width spinner box that let you control the height and width of the selected shape in the SmartArt. You can use the spinner buttons to enter a value in inches into the labeled boxes to change the size of the selected SmartArt shape if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.